Occupy Stories is red hot. Data explosion is happening with all the activity on internet, social media and mobile phones. So to keep up with this data explosion, enterprise stories industry is evolving as we speak. As a result, we are seeing a lot of new terms and new technologies out there. Before we dive into details, let's take a quick look back at the story's evolution. Human brain, the most powerful data storage to date. But it has limitations. Data only lives with the human being and it's not persistent or cannot be archived. Prehistoric human beings started storing data in the form of carvings. This approach has limitations. The data is not mobile. So this approach gave way to stone slates. Stone slates make data mobile, but these stone slates are heavy. So you can't have a lot of data transfer. Um, it has limitations, it's difficult to carry from one place to other. So then came along our favorite media, paper. Of course, paper back then cannot be processed by machines. So that gave way to punch cards and other media which can be processed by machines and we can analyze and utilize the data. Magnet tape, hard disk, floppy disks to the more recent ones, CDs, DVDs and Blu-ray disks. On the enterprise data storage side, the flash drives, more recently, the SSDs. Let's take a look at the unified storage. So these are appliances with dedicated storage. Unified, the name comes from the fact that the system support multiple protocols in a single system. Most of the well-known vendors like EMC, NetApp, and Oracle support popular file sharing protocols like NFS, SMB, and Block protocols. Scale up and scale out. The scale out storage differs conceptually from the older scale up approach. In a scale up system, the network storage was confined to a single form factor. Before scale-out storage became popular, enterprises often purchased more capacity. So if that capacity never occurred, it ends up being a waste. In a scale-out system, new hardware can be added and configured as need arises. The main advantage of the scale-out approach is cost containment along with efficient use of hardware resources. hybrid storage and all flash arrays. Before we dive into details of these systems, 
you need to take a look at the storage economics let's compare hdds and ssds on the base of cost per gigabytes and cost per iops hdds have very low cost per gigabytes and ssds have very high cost per gigabytes and for iops hdds are very high the cost is very high and ssds is low so there is always this constant battle between capacity and performance and um, the questions about which system is right for what purposes so the economics play a key role so hybrid systems gives a nice blend of hdd characteristics and ssd characteristics ssds are typically used for caching and hdd is for improving the capacity so it gives a fine uh, balance between hdd hdd and ssd all flash arrays uh, these are built ground up keeping in mind ssds unlike the traditional hybrid storage servers so with software features like compression and dedupe the cost of all flash is coming down and they are providing a good alternative for many applications vendors like nimble and pure storage deliver all flash arrays converged storage systems and hyper converged systems so converged systems combine compute networking and storage layers into single system lot of benefits with this approach tight integration and less moving parts rapid deployment and less maintenance cost with space power and cooling so hyper converged systems take this approach to one level up it's a software only approach essentially providing software that runs on any of the supported vendor hardware software defined storage this is an evolving concept with lot of promise software to manage policy based provisioning and management of data storage independent of the hardware cloud cloud is in virtual infrastructure enterprise companies are shifting to move data out of the on site data centers to off site clouds because of the long term benefits companies like oracle microsoft google and amazon provide cloud services these days 